Hey all, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be building the floor of my pallet camp. Uh, I have some recycled deck blocks from an old deck and I'm going to be laying out the four foot by six foot um, foundation. The, I'm going to have to level it all off and uh, dig some earth down so that everything is leveled off when uh, when I build the floor. So this is the video. Okay, so I have placed the deck blocks in the position where I want the camp to be built. Um, these deck blocks have slots in them that you can put the floor joists through. So I have uh, pretty much squared this up. I've measured six feet across here and eight feet, six feet and eight feet. So that will pretty much ensure that the, the camp is square because the distances are on parallel sides are equal. Um, I got these deck blocks from uh, a recycled deck that I, that I had. Uh, so the next step is for, um, for me to get some floor joists and level them because I want the camp to be leveled as well. So I may have to dig down on some the bugs are wicked here today. Uh, I may have to dig down some, uh, on just to level everything off. Now I have decided because I want this camp to be semi-permanent. I want, uh, I'm not going to use, um, recycled pallet beams, but I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, toe splicing, uh, four foot, um, two by fours together to be a floor joist. Um, it, it would work, but I want this to be, uh, pretty solid and last a little while. So I had some building materials left over from a project bugs on the, on the lens. So I am going to, um, and I may buy some stuff. Uh, I want this to be a solid, uh, working camp. So yeah, it's, it's not for the pallet purists turn back. Now I'm going to be using a lot of pallet stuff. Like the lion's share of the wood is going to be pallets and recycled lumber that I've gotten. So, uh, now I'm going to bring back a floor joist and eight footer and we're going to uh get leveling all right one more thing folks when the bugs are bad bust out the thermocell uh, not a sponsor okay so the next step is for us to put a board across look at the level you can see that it's almost level this side's a little high um but when I put the boards across from there to there, this end is high. So I'm going to dig down. Hopefully I can get around that rock. Lots of roots. Again. Bang on level, folks. All right, so I have to do that for all four corners. Okay, so I've put the board in the level across all corners, and the level is showing as level. So the next part is to haul the rest of the two by sixes I have. Sorry, I'm out of breath, folks. Um, to haul the rest of the two by sixes I have back and uh, some nails, hammer, something to drink. And um, yeah, uh, I'll, I shall continue. All right, so we got a bunch more two by sixes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay it out. I gotta, uh, I gotta do some math because I want the outside diameters uh, I'm sorry, the outside dimensions of the camp to be exactly six feet by eight feet. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to leave the eight foot boards eight feet, and then I'm going to have to do the math of the thickness of the eight foot boards to make a uh, width of six feet. All right, 
So after some complex math, I have determined that for an outside diameter of six feet by eight feet outside, I need six feet minus three inches because one of these boards is an inch and a half thick. It's gonna be five foot nine inches. I don't do math quite well. Yeah, I don't do math at all. Fuck math. Okay, boards are marked at five foot nine. I'm gonna be cutting one, two, three, four, five. And I need one more, so I gotta go get another one. Um, so there's gonna be six. Uh, five foot nine floor joists going across to the eight foot beams. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, I have the border laid out and I've measured diagonally from corner to corner and they're both the same number so that means that it's square. Uh, having it square and having it level is kind of important unless you want uh, a shitty little camp. So you can see I started doing the floor joists across and my floor joists are going to be 16 inches on center, which will, that'll prevent the floor from being all bouncy and stuff. So I'm gonna be doing that all the way across. Okay, you can see though, that's in place. We're gonna go 16 inches. And do the next one. Okay, so I now have the floor joists triple nailed into the headers. Everything is everything is square. Everything is uh, leveled. So this concludes today's video, um, which is part two of building a pallet camp. Um, I am going to, at the end of this video, show you if you want to do out of a pure pallet camp, completely out of pallets, I'm going to show you how to make the four foot uh, stringers of the pallets into, into beams. So stay tuned for that. Okay, folks. So you have two, two pallet runners and you want one big long beam out of that. So you put it end to end and you toe nail it 45 degrees like that. 45 degrees like that and then you take a piece of pallet broken you're gonna get broken pallets put it across there nail 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 do that on both sides and you're good you had you now have an eight foot beam so that's for the pallet purists